Hello students, welcome to this uh, video where we are going to discuss chapter 12, Decision Analysis. There's two different uh, broad topics or ways we're going to discuss this. One, using, not using probabilities. And then uh, later on we'll talk about a decision analysis uh, process that uses probabilities. So decision analysis is trying to determine the best possible choice given uh, various factors involved. So we have, uh, what we do is we can create a payoff table. As it says there, it's just a means of organizing a decision situation. So we have various uh, decisions. We're making decision one or two. And we have a state of nature. Uh, state of nature, an example we're going to work with is that it's going to be uh, good economic uh, conditions, versus bad economic conditions and what is the best decision that we could make with those given states of nature. So we have in this example, we have, here's our payoff table for real estate investments. We've got three, three decisions or three purchases we can make. We can only make one of them and two different states of nature, uh, good economic conditions or poor or bad economic conditions. Some questions you could have multiple, uh, you know, more than two states of nature. Um, in this case, we have two states, nature, states of nature, either good or poor. And then we have three decisions we're making. So we could make an apartment building or build uh, real estate investment, invest in an apartment building. The payoff would be $50,000 if the um, economic conditions are good versus $30,000 if the economic conditions are bad. Or we could invest in an office building with a much higher a payoff for good conditions, but really lousy payoff uh, if the uh, economic conditions are, are bad or poor. It's negative $40,000. Or we could build a warehouse or invest in a warehouse uh, economic or the payoff for the good economic condition is $30,000 versus $10,000 if it's poor economic conditions. In the uh, procedures that we'll look at that don't use probabilities, we have four decision-making criteria listed at the bottom. A maxi-max approach. Uh, basically, we're choosing the maximum of the maximum payoffs or a maxi-min approach where we um, uh, calc uh, make a choice based on the maximum of the minimum uh, payoffs. It's more like a pessimistic versus the optimistic maxi-max approach. Or the mini-max regret where we minimize the opportunity cost. And the Her um, Hurwitz um, decision-making criteria is when we assign a value uh, based on our, our level of optimism between the different states of nature either in this case, either bad, good or bad. So we're going to look at how to do this, how to make the best choice using these decision, four decision-making criteria for approaches that don't use probability. So let's go into this example here. Okay, so we're working with this example where we have three decisions, apartment, office building, or warehouse to invest in, and the two different states of nature based on our economic forecast, based on our idea of what would be considered either good or poor. Just going to move this down a bit. There we go. So this, the first approach we're going to we're going to look at is called the maxi-max uh, criterion. Let's just label that up there. What we do for each decision, we have three decisions, we list out the best possible payoff. So it's going to be this one, and then this one, and then this one. And then 30,000. So the Maximax optimistic, this is more of an optimistic approach. We are going to choose, we're going to make uh, that decision because it's the best out of the best. So the maxi-max approach would give us, would tell us 
to uh, invest in the office building. So let's take a look at what the maxi min approach would would uh, um, would decide. So this is more of a pessimistic approach. What we do here is we list the minimum values here, the lowest value. So in the apartment building, it's thirty thousand. In the office building, it's negative 40,000. And in the warehouse, it's 10,000. So this is the minimum of all the payoffs, but then we choose the maximum. So we're choosing the best one out of the worst payoffs. So in this case, we are going to uh, build or invest in the apartment building. So two different approaches, one optimistic, one pessimistic, probabilities aren't involved, and it leads to those two decisions. Let's go to the other slide where we will look at the um, minimax regret, which is uh, a way to minimize the regret or opportunity cost. Let's bring this down a little bit. Change that to red. So what we do for the mini max, um, the mini max regret, let's just put that up there. The regret basically is, you know, trying to minimize our, uh, you know, regret in, in terms of we chose this, but we could have chosen something else. So what we do here is we take the maximum of each con, uh, of each decision oh I'm, I'm sorry i should say we take the max out of each state of nature so we're going to take this one as the maximum for the economic conditions and the thirty thousand as the best out of the bad economic state of nature. What we do here is we're going to create a new table. Let me just do this here. We've got our apartment building. We got our office building. And we got our warehouse. What we do here, and we have of course our state of nature good and bad, is we take the um, the maximum, the best choice out for each um, for each state of nature, and we subtract it into the actual payoff. So one hundred thousand minus fifty thousand for the apartment is going to give us fifty thousand. One hundred thousand being the best in the state of nature minus the office building payoff is is zero. And 100,000 minus 30,000 gives us warehouse value of 70,000. Something's stopping with my writing utensil. Same thing for the state of, nat the state of nature for the bad economic conditions. We're going to take the maximum value subtracted by the... Um, Pay off for apartment building, so we get zero here. 30 minus negative 40,000 gives us 70,000. And 30,000 minus 10,000 gives us 20,000. So what we do here is we're going to then, our mini max regret is going to be, we choose the maximum value for each um, uh, um, decision. So for the apartment building, it's going to be fifty thousand. For the office, it's going to be seventy thousand. And for the warehouse, it's going to be seventy thousand as well. And here 
we're going to take the minimum of all the maximum values. See, these are the maximum payoffs for each um, for each decision. So we're going to minimize that uh, regret. We're going to choose this one, which basically means the minimax is going to then um, help us choose the apartment building. So those are three of the first four um, uh, decision criteria that, that we use. Um, we're going to then discuss the next one, which is called the um, Hurwitz uh, decision criteria.